Hi there, I'm Sandy Alnock, Bible journaler and YouTuber, and today our Bible journaling video is brought to you by Vacation Bible School, and I'll explain more about that later. I'm going to be using oil pastels, and you could use these ones on the right, that's what we're using in VBS, but you could also get this other set. I tried both of them and both work. These are both water-based oil pastels by Crayola, and the ones on the left are just fatter, and they're a little bit softer than the ones on the right, but... Both of them will work great. And neither is really expensive, but we're trying to be cost effective. So we're using the ones on the right hand side, those smaller ones. And I've broken them in half. I took off their wrappers and put them in Dixie cups so we can give each of the kids a small handful and then they can share with their neighbor if they want other colors. But they're going to be doing this on a piece of watercolor paper, something a little heavier. But I thought I'd try it in my Bible because I've never done something quite this elaborate for a Bible journaling page. And since I have my Bible journaling made simple workbook, which has Bible-like paper, it seemed a good place to try it out. So I have a sheet of paper underneath of it just to make sure I don't color over the edge. And once it was all covered with the oil pastel, I painted on this apple barrel black paint. I tried a whole bunch of different paints when I was prepping for VBS, and this one worked the best. I'm just going to say that. I mean, it's I don't know anything about Apple Barrel brand, but I looked online for a million recommendations, tried a bunch of them, and this one was definitely the one that worked best. And I'm just using a little foam brush with it. You can use any kind of a brush to apply this. And then you're going to let it dry completely overnight after it's all fully covered. You could tear this out of your book and do it just separately, but I just left mine in my book for whatever reason that I did. And it needs to be completely dry before the next step. Once it is dry, you can see there's nothing on the back. I'm just going to tear it out of my workbook. And I'm going to trim it down so that it's a little bit bigger than the page that I'm going to be putting in my Bible, just because I want to have a little room for error. So I've cut it down somewhat. And then I'm going to use just a colored pencil. It doesn't matter what color pencil, because the pencil is really just erasing the paint off the top surface and revealing the color of the oil pastel underneath. I wanted to have a full background on this and then just a rectangle to put the scripture in and the journaling. And you could do any kind of design, of course, on this, but I'm going to be doing the John 15 verse, Remain in Me, and I thought it would be fun to do vines all over this thing and just have fun doodling the vines. And you can see all the color kind of appearing underneath from where the pencil is basically erasing the paint off the top, which is kind of cool. The kids will be doing this in a series of two days. So the first day they're going to prep it. They're going to do their coloring and the painting. And the next day they'll come back. And the stuff that they're going to be drawing is based on the lesson that my church is teaching in VBS. And we've come up with our own lesson, so it's not a publicly available thing. However, if you would like to see me teaching the kids how to do it, I made videos for the VBS to show. So we're going to be showing those in the sanctuary when the kids all come in and they do worship together and stuff. And then if the teachers need to reshow it so the kids can see better, you know, in the, the classroom TVs, they can play it again there if they want, or we may end up showing them just in the classroom. I'm not sure what's been decided, but nonetheless, since I make video, it seemed like it would be good because I could show the kids close up how to do the things and then talk about the lessons. And I actually do the lessons and the drawing and stuff with stick figures. <laughs> the kids don't feel intimidated that they have to draw something fancy because it's all about them expressing themselves through the art. And it's been really fun to be part of the team planning this Vacation Bible School. And I know lots of churches do Vacation Bible School and they use lots of canned programs. Our church just chooses to come up with our own theme and it's being a child of the king. So it's all princes and princesses, that kind of a theme for all the games that they're doing and, and all the little little stuff that goes along with VBS. And then each day they're going to have an art component. So there's another technique using these oil pastels that I'll be teaching in those videos. If you're interested in that, it's going to be a self-portrait of the children. So you can follow the instructions in the video and make them yourself with your own kids or with your own vacation Bible school or Sunday school or whatever. It's a really easy technique 
to do and doesn't require a lot of supplies. The supplies are also going to be listed on that page. So I'm going to link you in this video to the page that has all that information on it over on my blog because I posted it there so that the teachers for VBS could watch all the videos ahead of time and the links for the supplies are there in case you need to find those. Okay, so for the rest of my page, I used a Posca pen and a, a white Signo pen because I found some of my other white pens actually erased black color, but I was trying to brighten up that color that I had used for the Remain in Me, and I just went over it with a Posca pen. I'll have a link to that in the supplies on this video as well. And then I used some double stick tape to adhere this on. Now I did trim it down smaller than the outside edges of my Bible. Usually I make it a full page size, but since I accidentally cut it too small, I just cut it too small evenly all around. So it made it look like I was trying to make it smaller and framed in. That's it for my little video this week. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click like, share it with your friends, etc. And don't forget to remain in him this week. And remember, who's the vine and who's the branch? Fill your role accordingly. I will see you guys again next week. Bye-bye.